Why do you think there's still so much fascination with the Beatles? As you say, the Beatles were, what, 40 or more years ago? Yeah. As a band, they only existed for less than a decade. Yeah. And there's still so much fascination. I mean, here's, you know, we've seen Nowhere Boy yeah. recently about young John Lennon. Uh, we're now seeing Lennon naked. There's always films and documentaries mm. being made about the Beatles. I, I, I think... Well, they... They changed pop music. I mean, or they almost invented pop music. You know, you have people like Elvis Presley, you have Beatles. I mean, there was nothing bigger. I don't think there's anyone bigger than the Beatles. I mean, they really set everything. Set the bar. Yeah, I think so. And it was, I can only imagine because I wasn't around then, but the f I, I could imagine that the phenomenal sort of force, and not force, but sort of the, the explosion, you know, um, that they must have created. And, and I think it was also when music was real music. I, I don't know, but no, I, I'm just going to go back to the fact that, yeah, they really did, as you said, sort of mm. set the bar. And, and back then, you know, I, I look at celebrity today and, and how everyone, you know, so many people now want to be famous just for the sake of being yeah. famous. But back in the days of the Beatles, the Beatles became famous because they were talented yeah. and really, really good at what they did. And yeah. that's how they became such big celebrities. Yeah. Whereas now people want to attain that level of celebrity without doing anything. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the other thing was, you know, they, they're... They came from a normal background, you know, they were normal people. Um, but, I mean, it's, they were phenomenal, you know, truly global. We're just looking at the archives footage, it's, it's just incredible how much they did and how big they were, you know. And they all went on, obviously, to go on to their solo careers, but I think one of the interesting things with John was he was incredibly open. I always say this about musicians and singer-songwriters. It must be... They're, they're so brave because what they're doing is they're literally being so truthful. They're literally naked going, this is me, this is what I'm going through. You know, And it's easy for us to say, oh, I don't like that tune, or what's he singing about, what a load of, you know... But they're, they're so brave because they're bearing their souls. And what's lovely about, what I always felt lovely about John was he was very honest and open. Um, some people would say, you know, he was a little bit naive or whatever, but he, at least he was honest and he was, he was changing and growing and so publicly as well, work-wise and personal life-wise, so public. But he still, he was brave enough to kind of say, this is me right now, this is me, and I'm exploring, and all that kind of stuff. Mm. Speaking of naked, there's a, a, there is a nude scene in Lennon yes. Naked. Uh, was that your first nude scene? And on screen, yes. Um, I've done nudity on stage. That was a, a very big decision. Um, it took me a couple of weeks to kind of really Mm. Stop but of thing. course you're recreating the famous album cover exactly. where yeah. John and Yoko were naked, so it, it, in context it, it works. Well, yes, <laughs> yeah. Um, was it difficult to do on the day though? Oh, just, I, I even thinking about it makes me kind of feel a bit clammy <laughs> and sort of gives me agita. Um, I, a twofold. Um, I can't even get changed in front of friends. I mean, it, this is a big, big no-no. And, and I always swore I would never do nudity on screen. Especially in high def, you know. <laughs> um, because no one would want to look at it. I mean, it's just, you know, there are certain things people shouldn't see or you shouldn't even see of yourself. Um, but also the biggest, one of the other bigger challenges for me was to make sure that it's not, in a way, if it was a bad scene or a sex scene, it would be slightly easy because it's, everyone does it, you know, and there's movement. But for me, it was, because it's such an iconic photo, and also, I wanted to make sure that I was confident enough that I could get to the place where they were. It's a very 
intimate yet brave thing that they did. I mean, what they were, that was so bold at the time as well to say, look, this is us, this is our rebirth, warts and all, this is us. And I wanted to make sure that I wasn't just doing it for the sake of it. I wanted to make sure that we, I was, as an actor, in the right place, doing it ju justice. Not just the actual shot, but to be able to sort of get to where they must have been, or at least understand where they were. Um, does that make any sense? Um, and you know, it's it's a bold, brave thing to do. What I liked too was the your your shot positionally recreated there the the John and Yoko shot almost perfectly. Oh gosh. It was very close. Oh, that's good. Um, How many takes did you have to do? Oh gosh, I, I can't remember because I, I think. I'd also had a bit of tequila in the morning for Dutch <laughs> courage. Um, it was so hard, and and I kind of almost don't remember. Not because I was drunk, but it, it just seemed like we were in a bit of a. Well, I was certainly in a bit of a haze, and maybe it's selective memory thing or something. Um, but we were both like, okay, we're just going to do it. You know, Chris is like, they've done it, we can do it. Just, it's not about what people see, it's about what they're trying to say. Hmm. So, yeah, it's so hard. It's just, I'm still mortified. It's just, yeah, it makes me feel a bit... <laughs> yeah, are you happy with the finished show? I am. Um, it's always difficult. I, I always find it difficult to watch anything that I've done. Um, because you do something in the moment and it kind of lasts and I always feel a bit weird watching things and plus you become too close to, to the story or the characters so yeah I'm, I'm one of those people who watch behind from like a cushion um, and it's very difficult to be objective but I think it's a strong yeah. film. I think it certainly, well, hopefully, <laughs> shows a different. It's an exploration. Mm. Um, everyone has such particular or strong memories or take on the Beatles, John and Yoko, John Lennon, what happened. There's so many different stories and, and people have particular you know, points of views. But what I wanted to do, especially for Yoko, was to show her in a different light, that she's not this weird, uh, malicious person who broke up the Beatles. I wanted to make sure that she was seen as a woman and I wanted to make sure she was seen in a different life, more, more human. Mm. And She's a woman who, who came along and fell in love with a man. Yeah. That, that, that's pretty much the story, isn't it? Yeah, and, and I think they had such a strong connection. They met at the right time. You know, he was wanting, it was almost like he couldn't breathe and he was wanting to make changes and explore new territories and she was the catalyst, you know, she opened his eyes maybe. So, that plus the fact that they had this, they fell strongly in love and um, they were the perfect fit, you know. They completed one another, they complemented one another. Yeah. Do you know if Yoko has seen the film and was her permission needed to make it in the first place? I don't think so, I'm not really sure. I think uh, Ed, the director and co-producer, he sent a script to Yoko letting her know that this was happening. Uh, funnily enough, a friend of mine, one of my best friends in LA, her mother uh, knows Yoko and when I told her um, about me playing Yoko, she said, do you want me to give her a call, do you want to meet her? And I was like, absolutely not. I just went, Phew. I was like, I, and she was like, why? And I said, because it's just, it would just be wrong. I, I, I wouldn't be able to do my, <laughs> my best. I, I just, it would just confuse me even more. And not confuse me, but it would make me so aware that it would then make me need sort of, I don't know, it, it, I, it, everything in my body said, no, don't meet her. Would you like to meet her now? Yeah. Having played her. One of her. these days, it's, I'm a bit torn because there's a part of me that says I almost don't want to meet her because she's, she's, I've always been fascinated by this woman. 
and she's such an icon and legend. It's almost like I want to keep her kind of there, but I'd be so yeah, it'd be lovely to meet her actually.